One of the best ways to gain an understanding of data is through visualization, and StatTools provides a number of graphs to help you do this. It has graphs in many of its more advanced procedures, such as regression, time series forecasting, and quality control. However, the best place to start is with its options in the Summary Graphs group, the topic of this video. This group contains the three options you see here. Histograms and box whisker plots are good for seeing the distribution of a variable, possibly broken down by categories of another variable. Scatter plots are useful for investigating relationships between variables. The data set you see here will be used to illustrate the graphs. It has several numeric variables that might be related, and it has a categorical variable that can be used to break down the numeric variables. When you are exploring a data set, it is always a good idea to start with one or more histograms. A histogram is a column bar chart showing the counts or percentages of observations in each of several categories called bins. You can define the bins, or you can let StatTools choose them for you. To create histograms of the variables in columns D to G, you select Histogram from the Summary Graphs dropdown, and you fill out the dialog box as shown here. For now, I will accept the auto settings for the bins. Note that the format should be set to Unstacked. Otherwise, you will see two columns of checkboxes, as will be discussed shortly. When the format is unstacked, you can select as many variables as you like. The result is a separate histogram for each of the four variables, along with a table of the bin information that the histogram is based on. Age, salary, previous spent, an amount spent. You can experiment with the x-axis and y-axis dropdowns in the histogram dialog box. The two x-axis options are categorical and numeric. The categorical option used earlier shows the midpoint of each bin below the corresponding bar. The numeric option, which I will show now, shows tick marks at regular intervals. The y-axis options are frequency, relative frequency, and probability density. They affect only the scale on the y-axis and have no effect on the shapes. If you select Stacked as the format option, you can create a histogram for each category of a categorical variable. Now you see two columns of checkboxes, one for the categorical variable and one for the numeric variable. In this case, it is a good idea to specify the bins explicitly so that the two histograms you will be comparing share the same bins. I'll make 13 bins starting at 0 and ending at 6,500. There is the histogram for females. There it is for males. If you want to compare them more easily, you can move this one. Box whisker plots, usually called box plots, are not as well known as histograms, but they represent a nice alternative for showing the distribution of a variable. Actually, they are most useful for comparing the distribution of a numeric variable across categories of a categorical variable. In this case, the results are called side-by-side -side box plots. The StatTools interface for creating box plots is very similar to the one for histograms. You choose the unstacked format for one or more box plots, each of a single variable, and you choose the stacked format for side-by-side -side box plots of a single variable broken down by a categorical variable. I will illustrate only the latter here. 
I will break down amount spent by gender. You will probably want to check this option only the first time or two you create box plots. It is for instructional purposes only. Here are the side by side box plots. Essentially, the box from left to right includes the middle 50% of the data. The line in the middle is at the median. The asterisk in the middle is at the mean. The lines, often called the whiskers, extend nearly to the extremes of the data. But then the individual red points are outliers. The hollow ones are called mild outliers, and the solid ones are called extreme outliers. As you can see, these plots provide a simple visual comparison of the male and female spending amounts. This instructional graph requested in the dialog box is generic, and it is not drawn to scale, but you can look at it to see the elements of a typical box plot. By the way, there is a lot of data below the box plots, and some of it looks like errors. However, don't delete any of this data. It is the basis for the box plots. If a histogram is the first place to look for the distribution of a variable, a scatter plot is the first place to look for the relationship between two variables. It shows an xy point for each observation, and the resulting shape of points suggests the type of relationship, if any, between the two variables. StatTools provides a number of scatter plot options. It has always allowed you to check a set of x variables and another set of y variables to get a separate scatter plot of each x variable versus each y variable. In addition, there are two new options in StatTools 6.0. First, you can create a matrix of scatter plots by checking a set of x variables and the same set of y variables. Second, you can select a third variable, a categorical variable, for coloring the points. For example, this allows you to color the male points red and the female points blue for a comparison across gender. In all of these scatter plots, you also have the option to request a corresponding correlation. To create scatter plots for the amount spent, the y variable, versus each of age, salary, and previous spent, you fill out the dialog box as shown here. Here are the three resulting scatter plots, along with their correlations. Alternatively, I will now get a matrix of scatter plots for the four numeric variables. So I'll check these variables in both the X and the Y columns. This was not possible before StatTool 6.0. Now I get 16 scatter plots, and you have to zoom out quite a bit to see them all. There they are. Finally, I will get one scatter plot where the points are colored by gender. Amount spent, let's say versus salary, and color by gender. Now the male points are red and the female points are blue.